Oh, baby, I understand. I know you can't breathe, sweetie. So, uh, Lucy started with snorting sounds like three weeks ago. We gave her an antibiotic injection a week and a half ago and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. On a recheck, when I looked in the back of her throat, I could see a mass back there. So now we're going to try to remove the mass and see what happens. So this is all the mass here. It's a giganticon. Maybe more than one. So I feel like I've got a little stalk there. I just can't see it to grab it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure it's all I mean, stress. That's it. It's gotta be stressful, I guess. Jesse can hold this. Okay. Hold that, Jesse, right there. Okay. Doing this kind of blindly makes me nervous. Well, that's you're above your scissors. I mean, mm -hmm. you're hemist out, so, so. It should be okay. Yeah. Just going teeny by teeny yep. there. Take your time. Can you put traction and pull that out just a little bit? Okay. Ooh, nice. Go ahead and pull it out. That's half of it anyway. Oh, that's Holy great. Yeah. Okay. That looks nice. Gentle traction, please. Pull. Keep going, pull, 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 pull. Wow. <laughs> that looks great. Is there more? No. I don't know. Well, probably not, but. Not yeah. that I can see. I would just cauterize that tip off. Mm -hmm. right there. You've got grab. That looks good, Joe. Wow, job. good job. That looks fantastic. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Nasopharyngeal polyps in cats. Hopefully that's what it is, and it's not something worse, which it could be. Um, but we'll send it off to the pathologist and find out. Um, one of the big problems is that they can grow back. We'll see. So, much more awake, feeling better, and not so cranky because now she can breathe. So we'll see how she does over the next couple of days and hopefully everything is okay. Oh, now she's getting cranky again. Spoke too soon. <laughs>